a warm good morning to one and all i hope you had a wonderful sleep and now you are very fresh and feeling good right so shall we learn something not something we are going to discuss the lesson once again uh, i hope you have read the lesson lesson number 7 olympic games and uh, today we will be reading the lesson because we have come some come across a uh, many words which are not familiar so we are going to le- learn the meaning of those words so are you ready to read the lesson i hope that at least you have read it once and uh, so shall we start children okay i want everyone to turn your textbooks to page number 50 chapter 7 page number 50 it's in page number 50 and take a pencil too because you are going to underline few words and you are going to take the note of those words so shall we start okay lesson number 7 olympic games it's in page number 50 shall i start yep read about olympic games the world's biggest sporting event the olympic games is one of the world's most prestigious international multi sport events that include the summer olympics and the winter olympics so we have already discussed yesterday that it's a it's an international multi sport events that includes summer olympics and winter olympics so uh, in this uh, sentence you have to underline the word prestigious prestigious the meaning of the word prestigious is respected or admired it's an admired occasion or an event people look forward to to participate because it's such a big event in the whole world and everyone look forward to it so that's why it's this event is respected or admired the meaning of the word prestigious is respected or admired the next sentence the modern olympic games that started in the 19th century were inspired by the ancient olympics so in this sentence you have to underline the words modern and the word ancient underline the word modern and underline the word ancient so we have already learned that uh, the modern olympic games was inspired from the or by the ancient olympics so the meaning of the word modern is related to present or recent times that is uh, modern olympic games it it, it was initiated like uh, it was recent it since the present time it was introduced so the meaning of the word modern is related to present or recent times and the meaning of the word ancient is belonging to the past that means ancient uh, olympics uh, was originated like thousands and thousands and thousands of years before so it actually belongs to the past and which was again initiated in the modern or in the present time okay so write the meanings of these words the meaning of the word modern is related to present or recent times and the meaning of the word ancient is belonging to the past shall we go to the next sentence okay next paragraph ancient olympic games are believed to have originated around 3000 years ago in greece so underline the word originated the meaning of the word originated is started from a particular place time or situation so ancient olympic games was started in a particular place named greece okay so like 3000 years ago it happened so the meaning of the word originated is started from a particular place time or situation started from a particular place time or situation
The year 776 BC is widely accepted as the year when the games were first organized as part of a religious festival. So in this sentence you have to underline the word organized. Organized means arranged or prepared. The meaning of the word organized is arranged or prepared. So uh, uh, the Olympic Games were first arranged like a part of religious festival. Like we have uh, in India we have a lot of religious festivals like Holi, Diwali, Dashara. So like that Gre the people of Greece also uh, conducted these games as part of their religious festival. The next sentence, they were held in honor of the Greek god Zeus and hosted in the valley of Olympia. So in this sentence, we have to underline the word honor. The meaning of the word honor is respect. You will find it the last word. The last one is the, word, the meaning of the word honor. Honor means respect. So uh, in this, they would honor or respect or worship God. Zeus and that too in the place or in the valley of Olympia that's how the name Olympic came and also you have to underline the word hosted the meaning of the word hosted is organized the meaning of the word hosted is organized uh, organized and hosted have almost the same meaning okay there are several myths about how the Olympics came into being. Underline the word myths and the, the meaning of the word myths is ancient stories about gods and brave people. Ancient stories about gods and brave people. So these are old stories and it's all about the gods and also about the brave people. So like you, have, you can say that the stories of Rama and Krishna are myths. Okay, They are about gods and brave people. So Rama is, uh, is considered as a god. So, no, so those stories can be taken as myths or ancient stories. Okay. The next paragraph. One such myth is that when Zeus defeated his father Kronos for the control of the world, a temple and an immense statue were built in Olympia to honor him. It is around this temple that the religious festival developed where people came to worship and honor Zeus. So we have dealt about this. Uh, Zeus defeated his father Kronos and because he wanted to control the world, uh, and uh, he wanted the control of the world. And so f in order to remember that people, they made a temple and an immense statue. So that uh, pe people can come and worship God, Zeus. The next page, page number 51. Another myth involves Heracles, the son of Zeus, who had immense strength. Underline the word immense the meaning of the word immense is huge. The meaning of the word immense is huge. Heracles was a person who had a lot of energy. Huge energy. Okay. The king of Mycenae ordered him to complete 12 very difficult tasks which he completed successfully. The king of God, Zeus, was so pleased with him that he took Heracles to Mount Olympus to live among the gods. He also initiated the Olympic Games in honor of Heracles. So one myth is about Zeus and Kronos. The another myth is about Heracles and Zeus. Heracles was a, a person with a lot of strength. And once a, the king of Mycenae gave him difficult tasks. So those tasks, uh, can, just look at the book children. Uh, on the left side you can see... Uh, box which is blue in color and something is written over there the task came to be famously known as the 12 labors of heracles 
so he gave 12 difficult tasks and those tasks can be called as 12 labors of heracles so the task was so difficult and so the king uh, of gods he was so pleased with heracles and he took him to the mount olympus to live among the gods so in order to show uh, in to honor the strength of heracles the olympic games was initiated underline the word initiated children the meaning of the word initiated is to begin okay. and in remembrance in remembrance of in remembrance of heracles they initiated the olympic games this was this is another story or another myth about olympic games okay now the next paragraph the ancient olympic games were held till about 393 ad uh, when they stopped after the romans came to rule greece the next paragraph the modern olympic games was started in 1896 by a young frenchman named baron pierre bertin he wanted people from all over the world to come together and compete in a friendly spirit the olympic games are held every 4 years the olympic symbol with the fire ring stands for the unity of the five continents at least one of the colors of the rings blue black red yellow and green appears in the flag of each country that takes place the olympic motto in latin citius altius fortius means swifter higher stronger kubertin felt it described the goal of athletes all over the world so uh, the motto citius altius fortius um, kubertin believed that uh, this described the goal of the athletes because they have to um, that's what the be the ones who participate in the uh, olympics game would be so look at the box on the right side you have a blue box over there the panathenaic stadium in athens greece hosted the opening and closing ceremonies of the first modern olympics in 1896 so the first modern olympic was held in greece in 1896 so this is a an information so it can be taken as a general knowledge question and answer yes or no okay so don't forget this the next paragraph weeks before the games begin a woman dressed in greek robes lights the olympic torch in the olympia valley in greece underline the word robes the robe is a long loose dress reaching to the ankle look at the picture i have uh, I have a picture for you the woman who has uh, worn the dress and that dress can be called as a robe it's a loose dress that reaches to the ankle so this is a robe so during the uh, the that be, means before the weeks uh, before the games begin a woman dressed in greek robes those dresses will light the olympian torch in the Olympian Valley in Greece many participants take runs sorry take turns to run with the torch uh, through different countries different countries the final runner carries to the stadium just before the games begin next page 51 the olympic flame is kept kept burning until the games close the flame is put out at the closing ceremony underline the word ceremony ceremony means a public occasion the meaning of the word ceremony is public occasion it's a public it's like a public meeting and the flame will be put out only in the closing ceremony when it is time for the athletes to return home the athletes think about the perseverance and practice that they had to put in for being able to participate in the games so underline the word perseverance perseverance means hard work 
so before uh, going to the Olympic Games uh, the athletes or the participants would participate would would uh, practice so hard they take a lot of hard work a lot of hard work like years of hard work uh, to go to the this big sporting event with this prestigious event so they always cherish those moments okay when it is time for uh, the athletes to reach home the athletes think about the perseverance and practice that they had to put in for able to participate in the games and many of them who could not win feel grateful that they could get the chance to complete against the best players so many of them would feel like oh, uh, a wow moment because they had uh, a chance to compete or to put forward a competition and uh, with the best players of the world so they feel so grateful or thankful the meaning of the word grateful is um, thankful the meaning of the word grateful is thankful so that let's feel so thankful because they could get a chance to compete against the best players of the world perhaps they also remember the wonderful advice that baron pierre coubertin gave the most important thing in the olympic games is not to win but to participate so coubertin he had a wonderful advice behind this olympic games and that is not to win but to participate okay so this is the uh, spirit we should have which everyone should have because we uh, we, we we must do our best but it's not about winning it's all about the participation and if you win it's it's like or uh, you have to win but more than winning you should have a sense a uh, feeling the of, of what i have to participate participation is more important okay that's the wonderful advice that peer baron peer de coubertin has given and tomorrow uh, we'll be starting with the exercises of this lesson and please read the lesson once again children and uh, we'll stop for now uh, see you tomorrow bye